The Philippines' economic managers face the Senate Thursday to defend the administration's controversial spending program. The cabinet members are but Budget Secretary Butchabad, Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Arsenio Balisacan, and Finance Secretary Cesar Purisima. The government justifies the Disbursement Acceleration Program, or DAP, as a way to boost economic growth. But critics point out it violates the Constitution and undermines Congress's power of the purse. Facing questions from senators, Abad echoes President Benigno Aquino's defense of the economic benefits and the legality of DAP. He says the High Court's decision declaring two features unconstitutional could reverse economic growth in one of Asia's best performing economies. While I bow to the wisdom of the Supreme Court, I must say, <coughs> with all due respect, that its decision on these issues may undo the progress we have achieved so far. The Philippines did not become one of Asia's best performing economies by playing it safe. We did not become global pioneers in government transparency and openness by playing it safe. We did all this through the bold and single-minded pursuit of innovation and reform under the leadership of President Aquino. If one must test the boundaries of a system to find the best possible solutions for a challenge that, until then, could not be resolved, shouldn't law respond as inventively and legitimize these measures? Court declared unconstitutional the creation of savings prior to the end of the fiscal year and the withdrawal of these funds for implementing agencies. But Abad says this means savings can only be declared at the end of the fiscal year. He adds, the sludge movement of fund releases will compromise government spending performance. Senate President Frank Drillon and other Aquino allies at the Senate help Abad defend the DAP. Drillon, who got 100 million pesos or $2.3 million in DAP fund releases in 2012, asks Abad to confirm that lawmakers did not receive actual funds. Abad answered in the affirmative. Drilon also helps Abad explain that the stimulus measure was done by past administrations and has legal basis in the administrative code despite the Supreme Court ruling. Senator Sonny Trillanes also points out the court did not declare DAP as a whole unconstitutional. He also says the controversy was just a miscommunication. Following the controversy over DAP, the Senate wants to clarify the definition of savings in the national budget. Dillon says the varying interpretations on the meaning of savings spell the difference in opinion between the executive and the Supreme Court.